yeah, Mark, Mark's gospel. Mark's, Mark's gospel because Mark was was a was a Jew, wasn't he? Yes, yes. But at the same time, he was the apostle's uh, companion, wasn't he? Saint Peter's, um, Saint Peter's scribe. Some say that that Mark was listening to Peter's preaching, who gave this whole gospel when preaching in Rome, maybe Antioch as well. But he would um, ask, he asked St. Peter if he could write this down so that it's preserved. And Peter gave his permission. And so the gospel came from that. Mark, no doubt, did other investigations as well. But that seems to be the, the, the key thing. Of course, from my point of view, believing that Matthew wrote first, Mark would have taken the structure that Matthew had created and combined Peter's preaching with what Mark had written and, and produced his own gospel that way. Because it was, uh, it was St. Peter himself, Peter himself who, who, who pronounced um, who Jesus was. Yes. Yeah. That was the kernel of the revelation to Peter. But Peter's modesty meant that St. Mark didn't put in his gospel the section of chapter 16 where Jesus tells Peter, I give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Only St. Mark has that. St. Peter was not willing that the gospel of Mark contains that. Because it's, it's making Peter seem more exalted than Peter wanted to seem. That's one theory. Yeah, but, uh, that was enough when uh, in St. Mark's Peter says, you are the Christ. Yes, yes, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Yeah. Yeah, that's in Mark, but then Jesus' affirmation of Peter as the keeper of the keys is in, only in, um, is in St. Matthew. Of course, in um, St. Luke, Peter is the one who is to feed the sheep. So it's a kind of equivalence different context so yeah so I think that we um, if we can show as I hope I've shown that Mark's gospel is full of the deity of Christ then we have no worries with any false religion whether it's the Muslims the Jehovah's Witnesses the, the rabbinic Jews any of these guys that want to say that there's any part of the part of the Bible that suggests that we've invented the idea that Jesus is God they just have no leg to stand on.